Welcome to ABC Gluten Free. Thank you for joining us today. We're glad to have you here and we hope you enjoy the show because we have a really great show planned for you. Uh, first, I wanted to show you, uh, introduce you to my helpers. This is Sophia and Jeremiah. And of course, you guys know them already. And Sophia has a special guest that's on our show today with us. And this is um, one of her really good friends, Uni. Uni's going to help today. Uh, today, our show is called what? Clouds and Puffy Clouds and, and Fluffy, fluffy Pillows. No, fluffy clouds and puffy pillows. <laughs> we're confusing ourselves. But today we're making a really nice little, um, probably like a brunch for you. We have some cream puffs and eclairs, and we're going to make some sweet potato gnocchi. Uh, we really have to get started because we have do have some things to do. So we want to get rolling. You ready to make cream puffs with me? Yeah? Is Uni coming too? No, okay, we're going to put Uni away. She can come back later and eat if she wants to. Uh, we're going to get started on the cream puffs. The first thing that we have to do for the cream puffs, Jeremiah, come here, is uh, melt our water. Oh, he's upstairs. Is our, check the camera, is our water and butter. We have to melt that. And what I have in here is one cup of butter, and I have about three and a half tablespoons of butter. So I have one cup of water and about three and a half tablespoons of butter. And I'm melting that. Sure, you can stir it up. So what we're doing is just really melting our butter in the water and we have a pinch of salt in there and that's just going to kind of get the butter all melted into the water, get it all ready to be introduced to with the flour. We're going to do one cup of flour. Ready, Cookie? So for the one cup of flour we're just using one cup, no, I can't. No. We're using one cup of flour. We're using our Char Box. That's a gluten free flour, all purpose. It's really for baking bread, but it works spectacular for everything else that we do. So we just have one cup of water and about four tablespoons of our Irish butter melting in there with a pinch of salt. And we're making our pot of choux. Now, you can say it however you want. We're making cream puffs, eggclairs, profiteroles, whatever you want to call them. It's uh, like a puff that you're going to put into the oven. It's going to really get hot, nice and beautiful and crispy. And the inside, you can fill that with anything that you want. You can do a sweet or a savory. Hold on one minute. Okay. Yep, we want to make sure all of our butter is melted before we add the flour. So I don't know if you can see that, but just this looks kind of like wet water. A little bit of golden color in there. And we're going to take that off the heat and we're going to add the flour in. Uh, one cup of flour all at one time. Please don't touch the pot because it's going to be very hot. So we're adding the flour all at one time, and then we're going to stir that on the heat a little bit, on low heat. Can you do that? I'll move it a little bit closer, but I can't go too much. And you want to hold the pot really and stir vigorously because that, that flour needs to get incorporated into that water and butter very quickly. And you'll start to see it kind of pull and string and pull and string. And you'll see it kind of get a little bit clumpy and goofy. Keep going. You have to keep stirring it. Keep stirring it until it starts to come together. You can pull it off of the heat. And Sophie, you want to do it now? I'll hold the pot for you. You have to keep stirring vigorously. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And you want to get that gummy consistency until it turns into a dough ball. It's going to be a wet, gummy dough ball, but it's still going to be a dough ball. Okay? I'm going to add one more tablespoon of flour, and that's it. I usually just do one tablespoon right at the end there. And I'm going to turn this off because we don't need this anymore. No, that's okay. Keep going. You want to make sure you get around the edges. Jeremiah, go ahead and check that again, please. Let's see this. So I'm going to show you real quick. This is how it's going. It's getting done. We want to get that all stuck together. You want to try to go with something else? I'm going to... Just keep stirring this until it sticks together. Sophia, watch your hands, honey. We've got it nice and sticky now and gummy. We need a little bit more flour. Sometimes if you have a little bit uh, too much butter, that will actually happen and it'll, you'll just need a little bit more flour to make it into a dough. So Sophia's gonna keep stirring that. We're gonna get rid of this even though it's a little bit hot. Let me take this away. Watch your back. 
Keep stirring, Sophia, keep stirring. And to this actual dough, we're gonna add two eggs as soon as she's ready. She's not ready yet because all the dough is not incorporated. All the flour, I mean, let me do it. And you have to let that cool a little bit. You really need to let it cool when it comes off of the um, burner. And what I need to do is get a bowl. Sophia, would you get a bowl, please? And we're going to incorporate the eggs in a bowl that's kind of cold already. Get that big glass bowl. Where? Right there. So what we have now is the dough. Can you see the dough there? You want to make sure everything is dry. Uh -uh. You don't want to put any water into the, the um, pastry dough because it'll just really start to break it apart and it won't be very good. All right, so we're going to add our dough here to our chilled bowl. It's kind of cold. It's been on the cold granite for the morning. And now we're going to have to add our eggs in. Oh, sorry, honey. You okay? Hold on. We're going to let that sit for just a minute. You don't need that. Take that out of there, please. We're going to use our mixer, and I'm going to try to do it quickly because it does make a lot of noise, and um, I don't want to blow your eardrums out. We're going to use our mixer. We're going to add one egg at a time until it's almost blended, and then we'll toss in the other egg. All right. Okay, you ready? Put it on one. Yeah, just put it on one. Don't do it yet. Okay, so we're going to put one egg in, and Sophie's going to mix that in. Go ahead. Do it quickly. You're going to see the dough start to break apart. We'll do the other egg. Go ahead. Let's go. Stuff like that on your on your handles, you're just gonna have to pull them up a little bit. Okay. Our dough is a little bit loose, which tells me that it was a little bit too hot. But what we can do is just let it sit for a minute and let it cool. So if you just let it sit there for a minute. Let me get rid of this. Every time we do cream puffs, you know, you want to make sure the weather's good. You want to make sure your bowl is dry. All of your utensils are dry because any kind of droplets of water really kind of pull it apart. And, but you also want to make sure that you don't rush it. When you take the water and the butter off of the simmering um, flame or your burner, you want to let it cool for just a little bit while you're adding that flour and take it off of the heat and incorporate that flour, get all the air out, and then start adding your eggs. So we have a really, real, no, no, don't put this in, we don't need this. Okay. All right, so we have a loose batter, and what I'm gonna do is just kind of test it. And what I mean by that is I wanna see how does it stand when I pull up on it. It's a little bit too loose, so when I put it on the baking sheet, it's gonna kind of, so I'm gonna have to add a little bit more flour. You don't normally do this at the, at the end, but I'm just going to add a little bit. Sophia's going to just fold it in like that. Now again, it could be the eggs, it could be the water simmering, it could be anything. But I would guess to say that it was a little bit too hot. Okay, that's looking much better. Jeremiah, can you get our baking sheet, please? Put the parchment on it. Are we piping these out? No. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take... Um, our baking sheet with parchment paper on it. We have that ready to go. There's nothing on it. It's just plain. That's enough, Sophia. Thank you. And I'm going to try to scoop out... Okay. Wait, okay. I'm going to try to scoop out some of our dough to see how it comes. Now, you can put this into a pipe and pipe it all out. We were going to do egg can layers and cream puffs, right? Yeah. No, we're not going to do that now. Okay, let's just get these in the oven. 
So they go in the oven, and I'm gonna just do like a um, like a long oval for our, for our egg clairs. Let mommy do a few, and then you can do some more, okay? So you just take your scooper out. If you wanna pipe them, you can. Our piping thing has to be dry, and we didn't, it's not completely dry, so we're going to wait on that, and we'll just use our, our little ice cream scoop here. All right, so we're going to just pipe out like an oval shape. Well, I guess scoop out an oval shape. We're not piping in anything. A little bit here. We need a little bit more here. We want them to be all the same size and the same shape. All right, you want to scoop some out? Sophia's going to scoop some out. And our filling, can you can do a bunch of different things for the filling. It's totally up to you. Um, we have a couple of different tricks that we're going to let you experiment with today, but we hope you guys BYON, right Sophia? Bring your own napkin because you're going to be drooling over our eclairs, our cream puffs, and we have sweet potato gnocchi for you today. It's going to be so delicious. BYON people. <laughs> look at, look up, look up and say to that. BYON peeps. BYON peeps, right? You didn't have to say the peeps. All right, we're going to get those in the oven at 400 for about 20 to 22 minutes. We want to keep an eye on them because they do puff up really nice. They get a little bit of golden brown. We're hoping they come out well today. If not, we'll have to send out some pictures to show you. Come on, we got to get them out there. Our next um, step that we're going to be doing is the gnocchi. And the gnocchi is like really super, super it's delicious. It's a very easy recipe. We're actually not making it in front of you today. We have the dough ready. But I'm going to just go over it with you real quick. Sure. Or, I need the West Bend now. So if you have to finish that up, one try and then get it out, okay? So for our sweet potato dough, we have one cooked sweet potato, a cup and a half of flour, and one egg, a little bit of salt. Um, we just actually put it in a baggie to keep it safe and to chill it in the refrigerator. And we're going to actually roll this out and show you how to make our quick gnocchi. Now, if you like to make extra like we did and put it in the freezer and save it for when you really feel like having gnocchi, you can even actually roll them into the little gnocchi shapes and then freeze them in a baggie. That's really super easy to have ready. Go put that over there, please. All right, so now we're gonna start rolling out our gnocchi. So is gonna do a good job of rolling it and I'm gonna get started on the actual ingredients that we're putting on the gnocchi. So the puffy pillows and the fluffy clouds, fluffy clouds, puffy pillows, whichever one you want to interpret as that. It could be the cream puffs as the puffy pillows, <laughs> and it could be the gnocchis as the fluffy clouds. I don't know, puffy clouds, not yet. Okay, so we have our gnocchi stripper. If you guys don't have a gnocchi stripper like this, you would just use a fork, but we're going to use the gnocchi stripper. We're not using this today. We're just using our fingers, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so we just need a little bit of flour on our board. We'll leave some out. Jeremiah, you have the um, you have them in the oven now, right? Yeah. Okay, turn on those two things a little bit on low. So we have a little bit of our broth in the back, and we also have a little bit of tomato sauce that uh, gluten-free grandma made. So we know that that's going to be delicious, and we're going to use that for our yucky today. Let me just get the dough out real quick, so Sophia can get started. So if you put your dough in a baggie, it's really not that difficult to get out. You just kind of pull it all away from the baggie. Make sure you have some flour on your hands when you're doing it. And there you have your gnocchi dough. All right, Sophia's going to roll out snakes. You can cut that into maybe three parts, Sophia. And she's going to roll out some snakes for us, and we're going to do the gnocchi right here. Jeremiah, can you get me the rest of the gnocchi ingredients? We have some delicious fennel that we're going to be using. We have some mushrooms, some garlic and shallots. It's going to be so, so, so delicious. Gnocchi is one of our favorite things. Well, it's one of my favorite things. Do you like gnocchi? Yeah? I like honey and um, um, sprinkled butter. Oh, we did make a sweet gnocchi with uh, cinnamon and sugar with butter. You like that, right? No, the one with the sprinkles and the honey. Oh, not strubula. Oh. That's similar, but no, you know what? All right, so this is our beautiful gnocchi dough. And as you can see, we're doing the sweet potato one, but you could do regular potato, Yukon gold potato, you could do purple potato, red lilis potato, and it really is totally up to you. You just wanna make sure that when you make the potatoes, you're boiling them, you can do skin on or skin off. We left the skin on of our sweet potatoes. 
You're gonna squeeze them and mash them. You're not gonna whip them because it makes it a very gummy dough. So you wanna make sure that you just kind of mash them. Wait, you need to keep this up here so everybody can see what you're doing. All right, wait, stop Alex. for one minute. They all have to be like the same, the rope. Here's Sophia's snake, it's a nice snake, right? She's got, you have to make that all the same kind of diameter so that those gnocchi all cook at the same time. Jeremiah, tell them what you're doing now, please. Making gnocchi? Yeah. What else? Rolled it into a snake and then cut it. Finger. Okay, so Sophia's cutting it thumb into size. about a thumb size. You don't even have to do that big if you don't want. We'll do, maybe do a little bit smaller today. And once the gnocchi are all ready, we'll put them to the side in a little bit of flour, and we'll just do them finger, and we're going to put them right into, into our hot pan. Ow, that's hot. Okay, so what I have here is a nice, beautiful fennel. I have a little bit of Kerrygold butter with some garlic that I'm gonna put right in the pot now. I'm gonna turn this down, it's a little too hot. I'm gonna put that in our pan with some olive oil. A little bit of olive oil. Done. Go and chop some garlic and some shallots. You gotta do the rest, push them aside with some flour in them so they don't stick together. Now, if you have fresh herbs, rosemary, thyme, any of those things would be really, really nice for this dish. They go really well with the sweet potato. You can also do a sweet version if you did the sweet potato gnocchi. You can do a little bit of uh, melted marshmallows on top, cinnamon and sugar, totally up to you. When we had our sub shop in our french fry place on the boardwalk, we had sweet potato fries with marshmallow topping on top. Oh, everybody used to love that. That was like one of my favorite things. Cause you know at Thanksgiving when you get the sweet potatoes with the marshmallows, they're so yummy. You like that? Sophia likes that, Jeremiah doesn't. He's not a big sweet potato fan, but he did say he liked the gnocchi. So you'll see for yourself today if he does or not. Right, Jeremiah? <laughs> so you guys like cream puffs or eggclairs? Cream puffs. Cream puffs. They both like cream puffs. Food for grandma loves cream puffs, but she likes the real cream. We're gonna have to make her a separate version of that delicious cream that we don't eat. We have some different varieties for you today. We have a little cashew cream. We have some coconut cream. We also have, what else do we have? I forget. Oh, we have a little bit of profiterole, some ice cream to go inside of that. That's really yeah, delicious. Yeah, my snake is kissing mine. Aw, your snakes are kissing. That's nice. I don't think snakes kiss, but who knows? They do. They do? I Not think they, they just sting. Oh, I guess then they do. I don't like snake babies, so I don't really care what the snakes do. I saw one um, commercial for one of those movies and the big snake came out. My husband said, gluten free dad said, I don't think you're going to like this. You should close your eyes because there was a big snake coming down. It was a commercial for a new movie. I forget what it was. Oh, it's like the Jungle Book or whatever, remember? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big snake. <laughs> okay, so I'm just no, chopping it's garlic. Snake that can hit some oh, yeah. That's the one that was like Pooh Bear's voice when we were little, I think, right? He says, trust me or whatever. Trust. Trust me. Yeah, he does it with his tongue like that. I don't like that. Definitely won't trust a snake. But for a gnocchi snake, I might change my mind. <laughs> okay, so we just have a little bit of olive oil and butter. Shallots and garlic. I right really want to watch that jungle book. Yeah. Gonna I'm going to start slicing up the fennel. I love fennel. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. You want to call it anise. You want to call it whatever you want to call it. But it's fennel. It smells delicious. It gets really sweet. Smell. She's the sniffer. She smells everything. Well, maybe because my hand is onions. But when you saute it or when you cook it, it gets really super sweet and it tastes so delicious. You can actually get those flowers, a little bit of flour on them, please. Toss them aside. I want them in all in the middle. So if you cut your fennel really nice and thin, it'll really get delicious and kind of break down in this. It's going to be so yummy. Yeah. I'm going to use mostly just the bottom. Go ahead and fix that, Jeremiah, please. All right, so I'm just getting the fennel ready. I'm just chopping it up. You can really chop it however you want. I like big pieces because I just love fennel. I love fennel and gordo with mu with mussels. I love fennel with gnocchi. I love it really with anything. And I like it plain just by itself with some olive oil and vinegar. 
gluten free grandma makes that for us for the holidays. It's so yummy. Alright. If you guys have any questions for us, you can put them up on live stream or Facebook. You can let us know. Um, we'll do a little bit of periscope at the end. Not very much because it's just a little bit too difficult to do both of the things at one time. But we want to share our recipes with you and we want to know what you guys would like to see. So right now we have our gnocchi and this is our sweet potato gnocchi right here. Look at how nice these are. And what we're going to do is, you don't even have to do the gnocchi stripper if you don't want to. You can put them in right like that. But we're going to actually show you how they make real gnocchi. And um, our little gnocchi stripper is right from Italy. And it's from, made from olive wood and you can get this online probably like eBay or Amazon, something like that. But first I want to actually saute these a little bit and the kids can do the gnocchi. So if you're going to do gnocchi a little bit, remember how to do it with your thumb like this. Roll it and then roll it down. But you want everybody to be able to see what you're doing. Roll it and then roll it down. And that's how you get those beautiful lines on the gnocchi like that. And it folds up kind of like a little cup and then the juice gets in there, the sauce gets in there and it's yummy. Alright, where did my spoon go? I'll use this. Alright, so I just have some fennel saute with olive oil and shallots. A little bit of Kerrygold butter and some garlic. I'm going to turn it up now a little bit because I'm ready to roll. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper. Pepper. And our special ingredient, which is just a whole bunch Mom, of hard Mom, in the jar. Stuff in the jar. Sophia's special ingredient in the jar. You guys know your Italian seasoning, so you want to put those in. You could do a little crushed red pepper if you wanted a little spicy. What do you think, Sophie? You want crushed red pepper or no? Okay. We're going to add some of our beautiful mushrooms. Just a little bit. Now, gluten-free grandma and I love mushrooms and fennel and pasta. Probably one of our favorite things, right? We used to go out all the time when I was pregnant with him, and we would have that delicious pasta with the mushrooms, right? The pappardelle, oh, or the tagliatelle, I forget what it was, it was so good. And then they took away the carbs from me. And then I was cranky. <laughs> they took away the carbs, Jeremiah. And it's amazing, the kid who's addicted to carbohydrates, who wasn't allowed when I couldn't have any when I was pregnant with you. That's terrible. That's maybe why you're addicted to them. <laughs> right? All right, a little bit more mushrooms. I like mushrooms. Gluten-free dad loves mushrooms. Jeremiah doesn't like them so much. He likes them on pizza though, right, Jeremiah? Pizza and stroganoff. Pizza and stroganoff, he likes mushrooms. Stroganoff! Alright, so this is looking really good. This is smelling amazing. Look at this, guys. Can you see these beautiful fennel and mushrooms? Oh, it smells so good. Gluten Free Grandma's gonna love this one. She's gonna be happy with this meal, right, Gluten Free Grandma? Mm -hmm. Alright, so if you guys missed us last week, we did Kids' Choice, which was Kids' Classics. We did Vegan Mac and Cheese, so you can go back and watch that. We did corn dogs, which is totally awesome, right? Corn dogs. How many corn dogs did you eat in that belly? Uh, five. She probably ate five corn dogs that whole weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I think again we had them on Monday. It was crazy. And then we had a light, nice little fried onion, like a blooming onion. Oh, it was a delicious! Blooming onion, you love that one? Sophia's making beautiful gnocchi right here. Jeremiah, I need you to just bring me up that sauce and the broth so I can just put a little bit in here. I'm going to add our tomato sauce after this is sauteed. Jeremiah, can I have that please? Some broth and some of the tomato sauce, please. Now the gnocchi are really delicious with just some butter and cheese on them if you can do that. Um, you can also do, if you are dairy free, you can do the earth balance or just do straight up olive oil. It will be so delicious. Add your spices, add your garlic and your shallots, and make sure you get some of your veggies in there too. They they did a um, they did a study. The FDA did a study that by adding vegetables to your meal, it lowers the calorie intake, which is obvious, but it also is actually better for you. So add veggies to each of your meal, and you definitely will feel the difference, if not look different. All right. So we try to add veggies to all of our meals and fruit, just to make a more balanced meal. So by adding some vegetables to your pasta, 
It's just making the, the pasta dish a little bit healthier for you. So we have our sweet potatoes in our gnocchi. We have our fennel and mushrooms and our garlic and shallots in our sauce. And then we're going to start adding some tomato and some of our butternut broth that we used. Um, I think you guys saw last week we used the butternut broth. It's so yummy. Or maybe the week before. Jemile, how's that now? Thank you. So we don't have any spectacular drink for you today. We're just prop we're just like basically on a hot chocolate kick because it started to get cold in New Jersey. It was like 20 degrees last I can yesterday. make a special drink. You can? What would you make? She makes a Sophia special and it's very, very delicious. But I don't know if we have all the ingredients today. Not a Sophia special. Not a Sophia special. Um, uh, you need the whole thing, honey. I'll take all of it. Yeah. All right, so we just have a little bit of broth. You guys have vegetable broth? At home, chicken broth, whichever. You just toss that in there. Jermaine's going to give me a little bit more anymore. So I'm actually going to cook the gnocchi right in here. Yeah, let's put it right here. Thank you. All right, so we just have a little tomato sauce. Ooh, that's hot. I'm going to just dump that right in here. Jermaine, would you like to do this? Okay. I'll, I'll let you take that away as soon as I'm done, okay? And I'm going to add a little bit of that broth in here that has all the seasonings in it also. We're starting to bubble over here, so we need to get rid of this stuff. So be careful, honey. Alright, we're going to turn it down. We're going to turn it down. Did it get you? I'm sorry. We're going to turn that down. And we're going to actually put the gnocchis right in here. Wait until you're all done with those. Get it. those all done. Can I okay. gonna do so? All right. No. Can I come here? I Put on great. seven more minutes. All right. So our our eclairs are in the oven right now. They're not looking so good. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do another batch for you. I'll have to show you the rest of that later. We're gonna finish up our gnocchi and then we're gonna do our fillings for our eclairs. We're gonna do a chocolate ganache on the top, right? Woo! Should we do, all right, I'll let, we'll do the gnocchi now because you're getting popped all over. This is very hot today, very, very hot today. Go ahead, throw them in there. Ow! Did you get popped again? I'm going to add a little bit of water just to loosen up our sauce a little bit. Don't throw them then. And actually the gnocchi, the actual starch that's in the gnocchi will thicken up the sauce a little bit more. So we'll let that cook a little bit. Go ahead, Sophie, keep throwing them in there. So this is a very simple meal. It's almost like a one pot dish because if you do the gnocchi ahead of time and you cook everything in the one pan, then you throw the gnocchi right in and just toss it with the sauce. You won't have to do two separate pans. There you go, good job. They did beautiful gnocchi, didn't they? Delicious sweet potato gnocchi. Mm. You want me to do the rest? Do my doing. Oh, okay. Now we have a couple of things to do for our eclairs. We hope that you guys get to see everything because we're a little bit running out of time. But I'm going to let this simmer a little bit. I'll let this go. Sophie, you want to start doing the other stuff for the for the um, eclairs? Sure. Yeah? And Jeremiah can finish that. Go get your things so you can chop nuts. We have a little bit of almonds here that we toasted. Sophia's going to chop those in the nut chopper. There you go. Let me turn this down a little bit. We've got a very hot little cooker today. It's very hot. I'm not used to it being this hot. It seems like I feel like it's really super, super hot. But you can even put the top on and let it go for a little bit. Jeremiah, I think that's good enough, honey. We'll do the rest of it. You want to do more? I would just do them right into the pan, but uh, he has the gnocchi strippers, so I'm going to have to wait. All right, so we're going to let these cook. The mushrooms and the fennel is all delicious in here. It's getting lovely all together. The sweet potato and gnocchi are going to sit in there for a little bit because we want them to cook. Go ahead, Bobby. Put them in. Keep going. Go faster. Sophia's chopping the onions. I mean the... What are you chopping? Nuts. The almonds for our... We're going to do a sweet and a savory of our eggclairs. Sure, I think we lost it again. So what we're going to do is get that started.
For the sweet and the savory, for the egg players, we have a little bit of goat cheese. <coughs> hey, that's mine. We have some goat cheese that we're going to mix up, and I'm going to get that for you started now so we can see. All right, so this is our herb goat cheese. This like comes in the log. You can get it at like PJ's, Costco, Shoprite, Wegmans, like, wherever. Half of this. No, you can do all of them. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll have to take them out and put them on the pan then. So we have a just a log of goat cheese. This is herbs in it. Then we have our garlicky mayo, which is really gonna be yummy. We're gonna add a little bit of that to the actual. Oh, this is getting hot again. It's going like up and down. We're gonna add some of that garlicky mayo to the cheese to kind of soften it up a little bit. You can add, if you wanted to, to do some milk. Um, yeah, you can mix that. No, you need to finish the almonds. I do. You gotta chop them up smaller than that. So we're gonna do a sweet and a savory um, eggplant for you. That's the savory this, filling. Okay, you tell them all about the savory filling, go ahead. It's goat cheese with seasonings in it. And, and some garlicky mayo. Mm -hmm. And we're going to just soften that up a little bit. And I got for Christmas in my stocking. Garlicky mayo in the stocking. Could you ask for something better than that? Um, sriracha mayo? Okay, Jeremiah, don't put any more in because they won't cook evenly, honey. I love your mayos. Sriracha um, mayo, we love. Yes, we love just, it. Just, just mayo. mayo. Just mayo. Alright, so mayo. if you have a little blender, you can do that real quick. Just kind of Get that all blended, the mayo with the actual goat cheese. Mmm, that's going to be so yummy. If you have fresh herbs, now's the time to put them in. Stir them up a little bit. Done. Jeremiah, can you get rid of that pan with the almonds on it, please? Yeah. And you can get rid of the gnocchi. Don't put any more in. They won't cook the same time. Don't put any more. All right, so we've got our no cooker more. going. I oh, I see. The, the thing is going in and out. So I have to move it away from where I'm working. The, the plug keeps coming out and I can't touch it. Good girl, so you do that. All right, while she's mixing that up, we're going to do a little bit of chocolate. Um, Jeremiah's going to grab the chocolate for us and a little bit of coconut butter. And what other kind of cream are we doing? Oh, we're doing coconut cream. And the coffee? So here's our coconut cream. I just want to explain to you a little bit about this. This is a can of coconut cream. The cream comes on the top and then there's like a syrup on the bottom. I don't want the syrup for this particular recipe. I'm going to save it, but I'm not going to use it for the cream. So what I'm going to do is just empty that liquid out. Jeremiah, can you put the gnocchi on something and uh, get rid of it? So I'm going to take that cream out. I mean, I'm going to take that like syrup out. It reminds me of corn syrup for some reason. Yeah. We've got a little bit of our melted chocolate with coconut oil right here. This is our Enjoy Life chocolate that we're going to use on the top of our eclairs. No. Um, yeah, honey. Not yet, no. And what we have is just the coconut cream right here. We want to add something to it Mom, to not only thicken it. No, not now. To not only thicken it, but to give it some of that piping texture that we need. So we're going to add powdered sugar. You want to do the powdered sugar to this? Move this out of the way, Jeremiah. That's take good. the gnocchi out. Mm, mm, mm. This is okay. yummy. Yeah, this is good, right? This is going to be yummy. So sweet or savory puffs, it's totally up to you. I would do both because How's you're making sugar? the pot of shoe. You're making that dough. It's very simple. You can do a little bit of both, and you're going to do a lot of that, so keep going. Um, you can always um, keep the cream puffs in the freezer until you want to fill them, or you can do the profiteroles and fill them with some ice cream. Let me go check on those right now. Sophia, tell them what you're doing. I'm making the coconut cream. I'm just adding some powdered sugar. There's a lot of powdered sugar. Mom yes, too. Too. Take them out. Oh, put them over there. Our, our um, pastry is a little flat. So what we need to do is another batch, but we're not going to have time to do that. But I'm going to show you how it came out, and we'll still make the best of it because we're going to still eat it. And I'll show you the ones that we made earlier that came out fine. I'm going to stir up our gnocchi with our fennel and our mushrooms. It's turning out to be delicious. Sophie is adding the powdered sugar. You want to move this away from the arm, okay? And when you do the powdered sugar and the coconut, you definitely want to put that in the refrigerator for a little bit because what happens is that that'll tighten up 
and that'll give you that um, piping factor that you want to pipe into the eclairs. All right, let's see what else we have. All right, so in the room, hey, okay, what are you doing? All right, you can put that in the fridge for a little bit. That looks mm -hmm. really good. Why don't you show them real quick what that looks like? Mm. Okay, I guess that's good coconut cream. Go show them what it looks like and then put it in the fridge, please. Can I lick this? Sure. <laughs> I got to lick this. All right, so we're going to finish up our eclairs. We got a little bit of a flat problem here, but I'm going to show the you the ones we did earlier. Go ahead, Sophia. There's her coconut cream. She did a great job on that. You can put this away, Jessica. Oh, no, I'll take it right here. All right, so for the chocolate on the top, this is the chocolate ganache that we put on the top. We're going to do chocolate chips and a little bit of coconut oil. Jeremiah, would you grab the coconut oil, please? Yeah. Is that good? Huh. It's um, right by the stove, Jeremiah. She's licking the spoon or the spatula. All right, so. Delicious! Let me cut this open. Excuse me, Sophia. Thank you, Jeremiah. We could do about a cup of chocolate chips. Can you just wait a minute, okay? Thank you. We could do about a cup of chocolate chips. Ah, uh, everybody sticks their hand in it. And a tablespoon maybe of, come on, honey. <laughs> and about a tablespoon of, of coconut butter. We're just gonna do a half of a recipe. So I'll do a teaspoon. Jeremiah, you can put this in the microwave for us real quick. Put it on a minute and then make sure you turn it with the spoon. Don't put the spoon back in yet, okay? Hmm. I don't know about you, but God bless you. I wish there was Enjoy Life chocolate chips in my stocking. God bless you, not yet. Yeah, I know you are. All right, we're just going to turn our gnocchi a little bit. It's looking beautiful. It smells spectacular. And it's almost done. Yay! Almost done. All right, now we have uh, cashew cream. Can you wait? Can you? All right, we have cashew cream. Let me just show them real quick. This is just, um, I don't know if you remember, last week we used the cashews for the vegan mac and cheese. So we took some of that cashew and we stirred it up with some powdered sugar. Now, it gets a little bit thick in the, could you, um, hold on one second, okay? Just stand there, right? You can actually clean this off and get ready. This gets a little bit thick with the powdered sugar and you can pipe that into something that you want to pipe it into. If you have your piper, you just fill it up and then you pipe it out. You want to make sure it's chilled because you want this cream to be nice and thick like that. When you do in the cashews, you have to blend them up with a little bit of the cashew water after you soak them overnight. So that would be your cashew cream. To do a regular cream, you could do a cream cheese, a regatta, or a mascarpone, and you would add the powdered sugar to either one of those, whip it up nice and light, and then put it in the refrigerator and let it get stiff, tighten up, then put it in your piping bag and pipe it into whatever your powdered sugar is, whatever cream puff you're gonna use. All right, then we have our, we did a coffee cream, which we ended up not liking so much, right? You like the coffee cream? Taste again. The reason why we didn't like it, the coffee made it really super bitter, and when you're having a cream puff, you want it like creamy, but today was National Coffee Day, so I was gonna do a coffee cream inside the eclairs. So we're skipping that because it's none of us really liked it. very liquid. Okay, let's see how. Mom, look at it, I'm drawing. All right. Let go, honey. All right, so we have our chocolate to go on top of the eclairs. Jeremiah, could you bring us some of the ones that didn't come out so good, but we're going to use them anyway? These are our ones from earlier today. We made little baby ones. You want that? Mmm. We put it in the fridge, That's though. That's a coffee one. Mm-hmm. There's a coffee one. Oh, it's still yummy. Let's do this. Bring us some of our ones that came out good. Um, could you put them on a plate, please? There's a plate over there. Stop. You really have to let these cool. Take them off the baking sheet. Jeremiah, let them cool. These are our flat puffs. These are not puffy pillows or clouds, are they? Okay, time to fill. Put them on here. The puffs. With the puffy Can you puff, be patient, puffs. please? I'll get the fill. All right, so these are our puffs that we did just right before the show started. So we weren't in a rush. We took our time. We have these beautiful little pillows, puffy pillows, and puffy clouds, fluffy clouds. What you do when you want to fill them, 
You want to poke holes in the back or the side, whatever it is that you're more comfortable with. We're not going to use this. We're not using this. Okay? We're not using that. And that doesn't go that way. We're just going to use nothing for now. If you want to do, we can do the savory ones this way. You want to do the savory ones this way? Yes. All right, we need a different tip, which we don't have, so we won't be able to do that, actually. All right, we're going to have to skip that. What we're going to do is we're going to show you. We're going to cut this open. We have some profiterole ice cream in the refrigerator. Guys, get that out. And these we're going to just skip to something else. I don't know, maybe we can put some of this on this on top. What do you think? You want to try that? Cut that open. Want to try this? Take a bite and tell me how it is. I wanted to put a little mm. almonds on the top. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, what? It's going to ruin it. No. Let's try. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's good. Mm. You can always take something and turn it into something else. This is really good. That's the goat cheese one. It's really super yummy. The cream puff is, is even though it didn't fluff up, it still tastes really nice and lovely. All right, so let's do this. Sophia's going to cut up. You're going to cut open. Actually, all you have to do is go like this. I put a hole in them. Though. Yeah, I told you not to do that, though. I wanted to cut them open. We have our ice cream that we rolled into little balls. And this will be our little profiteroles. Profiteroles are really super yummy. We like them bigger than this. But we did minis because we wanted to do a test run just to make sure the weather was good for the pastry. Jeremiah, you want one? I was really good with the ice cream. Do you want um? Yeah, so cheese. Do you want it with chocolate syrup on top? No. All right. So you can have yours with chocolate syrup on top. Mm -hmm. You can have yours with goat cheese. You can have it with chocolate coffee cream. You can really use that pot of shoe for really anything. It's so versatile and delicious. I think gluten free grandma would like one with the goat cheese. Would you gluten free grandma? So we have to actually get our napkins ready because it's time to eat. Yeah. And we have our little eclairs here. They're so, so, so cute. I'm going to put a little bit of the cream inside for gluten for Grandma. She likes real cream. We're going to have to do the real deal for her. And we're going to do a little chocolate drizzle on the top. That's yummy. And then we'll have to do a little goat cheese one for her. This is like a little goat cheese flat round pizza. <laughs> do a little bit of toasted almonds on the top. Jeremiah, you can give that to gluten-free grandma and see if she likes that. Then we're going to move along to our gnocchi. Ay, ay, ay. I can't wait for the gnocchi. How about you? You need to watch what you're doing here. All right, so the little ones that have the little ice cream on them. Did you have a little ice cream on it? Who didn't, what do you want on there? Oh. This is monumental. This is monumental that Jeremiah wants a savory cream puff over a sweet one. I'm in shock, really. All right, can we get this stuff off the table so we can actually start? Maybe I'll just have one more savory. I'm gonna cut this little baby right open. Look how cute these are. These would be great for little hors d'oeuvres. They're right? like little peanut party. shells. Yeah, they look like little peanut shells. We can fill them with peanut butter. Mm. You guys are having a good old time eating savory stuff, huh? I'm gonna put a little nuts on the top, on the inside, actually. Take a little bite. Mmm, hang on top. Oh, it's yummy. Mmm. Delicious. Totally delicious. All right. We're going to reheat our gnocchis. Are you guys ready to eat gnocchi? Uh-huh. That's good. What are we doing, right? <laughs> what are we doing? What is that? The Puffy Clouds dance? Mmm. The savory one definitely <laughs> is way, way, way better. All right, can we please move this stuff off and it's time to eat? So let's get ready. Can you guys hear that popping? Sophia, it's your turn, honey. Pass out the napkins. Pass out the forks. It's time to eat. We hope you guys BYON. Today we made delicious gnocchi with mussels and fennel and shallots and garlic and a delicious, mussels and beautiful fennel. sauce. Did I say mussels? Yeah. Did I say mussels? Somebody tell me I please did not say mussels. I meant gnocchi with fennel, shallots, mushrooms, garlic, olive oil, a little bit of Kerrygold, some delicious tomato sauce that gluten free grandma made for us. So we're all ready to eat. We hope you are. Are you ready, Sophia? I'm going to plate you. 
All right, and you're going to be a gnocchi tester, okay? Do you want a little bit of cheese on that? Uh, no. No cheese. We have to give gluten-free grandma her plate. Make sure she gets all that she wants. A little bit of mushroom, a little bit of fennel. And where's the cheese? We need the cheese. Jermaine, can you get that stuff off? We need a little bit of grated cheese on the top there to just really bump it up a little bit. You can also throw a little bit of those toasted almonds on there if you like. Jeremiah, you gonna have some? Mm -hmm. Jeremiah's having gnocchi. Okay, we got this. Give him a little bit of gnocchi. He's gonna eat gnocchi. I can't wait. I'll be right back. So we're having a monumental day today. He's eating gnocchi. He's having savory cream puffs. This is delicious. All right, I can actually turn this down to warm. I'm gonna make myself a plate. Ooh, it's very hot. Is it very hot? Is it really hot? Where's the cheese? I took the cheese out, I thought. I need a little bit of cheese right there, yellow bag. I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese on top. Oh, here's my other little eclair. Um, that one has, coke. that has the coffee cream in it. The coffee is very bitter. I didn't like it. I probably should have loosened it up a little bit before I added it to the cream. Thank you. Do you want cheese on yours, Jeremiah? Yeah. All right, so we're going to sprinkle a little bit of our, our Pecorino Romano. Delicious. This is sheep's milk. Mm. The goat. You like the gnocchi gluten free, Grandma? Oh, Sophia said no cheese on hers. Whoopsie daisy. Delicious. So we have our sweet potato gnocchi. Mm. And it's very simple. You just take your sweet potato, your flour, your egg, a little bit of salt. You mix that all up together after you cook the sweet potato, you squeeze it and just mash it up. Don't whip it or blend it. You want a lot of air in there. I'm sorry, I put some cheese on there. Okay. And then you turn it into a dough and you roll it out into a snake. You roll it onto the gnocchi stripper or a fork. We took, cooked ours right in the tomato sauce. We didn't cook it in the water. We cooked it right in here and that starch thickened up that tomato sauce really nicely. Okay guys, stop dancing and eat. So we have our sweet potato gnocchi. Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow. Fennel. Mushrooms. Mmm. So the place we used to go to when I was pregnant with Jeremiah, I would either get gnocchi bolognese or I'd get the pappardelle or the tagliatelles with mushrooms and cream. This to me is just as good if not better. Doesn't taste like sweet potato. It doesn't taste like sweet potato. We got a good review from Jeremiah, the food critic. Uh huh. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. The fennel. Excuse me. The fennel when you cook it, it turns sweet and delicious. But if you eat it by itself, it tastes very licoricey. If you eat it raw, it's very good for you though. It's a digestive um, complex enzyme in there. It's very good for your digestion. It's really good for your breath. If you eat it after you eat, mmm, mmm, well, stop. How do you like everything? What was your favorite thing today? Mmm, mmm. You know, your favorite? Wow. What about you, Jeremiah? What's your favorite thing today? Mmm. Mm. Cream puff with. Goat cheese in it? Oh, with the profiterole, with the ice cream. We put so delicious snickerdoodle ice cream inside of there. That really is a, a really big treat. And then we have our delicious gnocchi. Blue and Tree Grandma, what was your favorite thing today? Mm, I love the gnocchi. Mm. And I love the egg clear. Gnocchi is just delicious. I'm going to have to have more later. Well, guys, don't eat that. We need those for later. But it's time for us to go. We made a delicious, nice luncheon for you today, or a Sunday dinner, it's totally up to you. We made some pot of choux. We had a little bit of problems, but we always turned it into something good. We never anything goes to waste here. So we actually have two different kinds of pot, two different types of pot of choux. Jeremiah's taking sweet potato gnocchi. Everybody stop what they're doing. I have to have a moment of silence. <laughs> There definitely is a God. He's taking sweet potato gnocchi today. We're in shock, everybody, because he hates sweet potatoes. So we're so excited.
you know the gnocchi must be good if he's taking more of it. So you definitely have to try this. Your kids will love it. Let them help you make it just like we did here today. Include everybody in the meal and sometimes it just makes it a lot better and a, a lot more fun. We hope you enjoyed the show today. We had two um, different types of pastry for you. Not pastry, but stop for a minute. We had, I can't even think what I was about to say because I'm so hungry right now. We had a sweet uh, cream puff and we yeah. had a savory cream puff. We had a cream puff with goat cheese, which was totally delicious, and our, our little garlic mayo in there with that cheese. And then we also had a sweet cream puff and we had a profiterole. We kind of did a lot today, but we didn't show you too much, and we had a little bit of a mess up. But we still hope you guys enjoyed the show. Did you guys have fun today? I did. I'm not happy Thank you dance. for your help. Happy dance? That's the happy dance. That's the sweet potato happy dance. I thought it was the puffy cloud happy dance. All right, it's time to say goodbye. Say goodbye. Thank you for your help. Thank you, Jeremiah, for your help. What? 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 Oh, she wants unicorn. Unicorn didn't get to eat yet. We're so glad you joined us today on ABC Gluten Free. We hope you enjoyed the show. We hope you BYON because we're just, we were drooling over the food. Jeremiah loved it, so we're ecstatic today. Unicorn if you have happy. any questions or comments, go to our Facebook page at ABC Gluten Free. We will post the recipes for you if you ask. We have no problem with that. And if you make any of our recipes, please tag us in your, in your post, uh, ABC Gluten Free. Have a wonderful, delicious weekend. We hope to see you again next week. Here, we'll be making something special for you, but we're not telling. You know what next week is? Okay, we're not telling. So have a great weekend, guys. We want you to come, taste, and see how good it is to be gluten free. See ya. Ciao. Ciao, Ciao. for now. I'm going back. How about that? Okay, don't eat it all because we need some for Periscope. We got a bowl on Periscope later. Hair by Satinique, mm -hmm. makeup by mm -hmm. Artistry, mm -hmm. wardrobe by Tula Boutique. Follow us on live stream, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube at ABC Gluten Free. ABC Gluten Free is a production of American Bot. Ciao. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. God bless. Ciao.